the best free mic that you can use is the one that's built into your smartphone, like what I'm using right now. This is my iPhone's mic, and I'm about 31 inches away from my camera. But with the use of this free software, you can get your audio sounding like this to this. And let's break it down in this video. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tsukoy with Think Media. Now this is no gimmick. It is an absolutely free tool that is brought to you by Adobe. And you don't even need an account to use it. You just need to hit the link in the description that goes directly to this tool. But what this tool is, is it uses AI to remove noise from voice recordings with speech enhancement. So that's what it is. It's a speech enhancer and it makes your audio sound like you recorded it in a professional studio. And it's crazy because if you have semi-decent audio, you can legit transform your audio coming from either your smartphone, maybe it's the onboard mic, which is usually a bad onboard mic on your camera, or if you actually have decent audio, you can still use this tool. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up whatever editing software that you use to edit video, and you're gonna put that video inside of your editing software, and then you're going to export just the audio only. You wanna make sure that you're exporting an MP3 or a WAV file for this, but once you export your audio, you're then gonna to go to podcast.adobe.com slash enhance, or just check out the link in the description below. Drag that audio that you exported from your video, and then it's just gonna do its thing. It's gonna take maybe a couple minutes, depends on the length of the audio, but then it'll allow you to then download that audio file, and then drag that file into your editing software, and then replace the audio that was on the original video. Make sure it's lined up, and then you could simply mute the track or delete the audio track altogether and you are met with an incredible audio quality coming from whatever mic you are using. If you try to set up your own studio on your own and go on YouTube and figure out what you need to buy, you might end up like Sam. If you try to set up your own studio on your own and go on YouTube and figure out what you need to buy, you might end up like Sam. Now, some of the best practices that you can implement to get the most out of this audio enhancer, number one is to just have consistent audio. You don't want too much going on because if there's a lot of outside noise, it's going to be taking that into consideration and trying to figure out whether it's worth keeping in or worth keeping out. So the more consistent your audio is, the better. And Nate, one of our editors here at Think Media, he's been playing with it a lot. And he found that if you can get some sort of decent audio, whether it is using a microphone of sorts or trying to minimize echo in a room, even though it can fix those things and it's awesome for it, the better audio you give the enhancer, the better of a result that you're gonna get. So always bring whatever mic source that you're using as close as you can. And then when you export that audio, put it in the Adobe Enhancer. It's gonna sound really good and you're actually going to wow yourself literally every time. So have fun with this tool and make your audio sound better because 50% of video is audio. You can go ahead and click or tap the screen and check out another video from us here at Think Media. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you soon.